Hi, welcome to part two of my eyeshadow palette collection. If you missed part one of this, I will leave a card right up here, and I will leave a link down below in the description box for you as well. So I've already gone through probably the first third of my eyeshadow palettes, and I'm going to move on to the second third of them. Um, today we're going to be doing both Morphe and Too Faced. So let's get started because I have a lot to show. I'm going to start with the smaller Morphe palettes and then work my way up to the big ones. Um, this is one I was able to pick up, and I don't think they have this one anymore. I'm actually pretty sure they don't, but it's one of their the little palettes. And this has just eight shades in there. It's a blend of um, the mattes and some shimmers in there. You've got a no mirror in it, so it's just see-through, so you can see me. Um, but it's a great one because you've got a great selection of your lid color, your transition colors, and then going into some bold crease colors and lid colors that are shimmer as well. So those are one swipe of each one. And I adore this one. If you see it, get it. Because like I said, I think it might be sold out. So I'm sorry if I'm showing you something you might not be able to get. Okay, the next two work hand in hand together. We have the 12NB and the 12S. So the NB is primarily all matte colors. There's some shimmer colors in there as well. And then the 12S is primarily, actually it is all shimmer colors in there. So let's start with the 12NB and I'll swatch a few of these. Again, this is one of those great um, palettes that have just everything you need for just one eye look. And there's really just a few shimmers. Let me show you this one too, because that's a great shimmer that's in there for the lid. So highly recommend this. And then the 12S, again, all shimmers in there. And these are just stunning. I'm just doing one swipe on these, by the way. So you can see how buttery and just highly pigmented those are. Mm, 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 mm. Now they have another set as well. We have the 25A and the 25B. So let's look at the 25A first. If you love the browns and the golds, then this is the palette for you. Beautiful. Again, highly pigmented. It's got some really unique shades in there. Look at that yellow one there. That's just so pretty. So there we have the 25A. And moving on to 25B, this looks like so. Now you get some of these beautiful plum colors in there. And let's give you a nice brown. And again, another great blend of just the mattes and the shimmers in there too. So stunning, and I don't know what that is there. I must have touched something. All right, this next one I first saw when Nikki Tutorial showed it, and it is the 35F palette. Oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. It's got some colors in there that just make your eyes just totally pop. To me, it's along the lines of the Violet Moss, um, where you've got all of these like burgundy, beautiful colors in there, but there's a lot of golds. So you just, oh, it's just stunning. And this is just a must have. Um, these run like $22, $23. So for all of those eyeshadows, that is an awesome price to get that. And then the next one I picked up as a kit, which I did check, they do have this back in stock as of yesterday. So chances are I'll have it again. Um, but they have the 350M is in matte and the 350S is in shimmer. So let's look at the matte first. These are all of those gorgeous browns and oranges and golds. And everything in here is a matte shade. 
just, if you love oranges, man, this is the one you're going to want. Mm, look at that. And again, that is one swipe, all matte, just gorgeous. They blend so beautifully. And what I love is then they match so beautifully when you go into the shimmer one. So let me swatch those. So here we go with the shimmers. And let's put them up next to each other. So we have mattes and we have the shimmers and look at those. Do they not look like they should just be getting married and having little Morphe babies? Oh, just get this. Just get it. That's all I can say. Get it. Get it. Okay, let's move into Too Faced Land. And let's go where this probably all started for most of you. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. So yes, it smells like chocolate. Mm, it just smells so good. But to be quite honest with you, I never touch this. This is like one of those ones that's at the bottom of my drawer. I never get it out because I have these colors now in other palettes. And it just wasn't something that I was like, oh, I gotta have it. Now, is there anything wrong with that? No, I just have way too many palettes. So if this is a palette that you enjoy these colors in it, then go for it. It will be just gorgeous. Um, per personally, I think it's a little overpriced, especially when you compare it to the Morphe palettes. But it's got a great selection in there. Can't go wrong. And then I picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon bon palette. And I got this one because I love pinks. And this one has a great selection of the pink shades in there that just mix really well. So let's show those off. And I'm going to grab this purple here too. Now the purple is chunky glittery. But look at that pink there. You have a, so that's a matte. And then my middle finger is the shimmer pink. And then I've got the purple on my pinky there. But this is just a beautiful palette. But again, it's one I don't find myself reaching for all that much. So maybe that's what I need to do is start going back to the basics and getting some of these palettes out that I started out with and giving them another shot. So if there's any of these palettes you'd like for me to do an eye look on, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to do that for you too. I also recently picked up their Sweet Peach palette. Not a big fan of this one, to be quite honest with you. Um, I got the blush as well. Um, the tin is falling apart on that one. I don't feel that this is very peachy smelling. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it as much as I get the chocolate smell. So, but this is the Sweet Peach palette. I know there's been all this hype. From what I understand, they kept talking about this being sold out, being sold out. But if you went overseas, everybody had it in stock. So I think they just kind of created like a little false sense of this being out of stock to make it something everybody just had to have. But um, let's swatch some of these. There's a lot of these have chunky glitter in it. Like that one there, which is called Tempting. Now, this first one here is called Just Peachy, and this one is Caramelized, and they don't show up, I'll stop moving, all that well. But they're great transition colors. Um, there's just nothing in here that excited me. They blended out okay, they're fine, I just didn't feel they were very pigmented once they got on my eyes. So that's one thing I didn't care about. So. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't buy any of those palettes. Okay. This one by Nikki Tutorials, the Power of Makeup one, I have never used. I've had this since before Christmas and I've never even used it. Why? Because I don't think these are my colors. Um, I got it just to show everybody and it's just not something that are colors I would wear. I'm, I'm not a purple person. I mean, it's stunning, it's beautiful, but mm, I don't know. 
kind of different. So if you love these jewel tone colors, then this would be a great palette for you, but I'm not jewel tone. So that one for me was a pass. I also picked up their uh, Christmas edition palettes. I got their Christmas in New York. This is their cocoa powder infused one. So it too smells like chocolate and you get a large selection of colors in here as well. Um, this was okay, but again, nothing that made me go, oh, I have to have this. Um, now the mint chip, I would think that would be more green. That's a blue. But sugar bills, I could see myself maybe wearing a little bit of that one right on my lid. I just kind of like catch it right in the center there to give a little shine on something. Like so. I have blended out, but um, that is a great color to use. But it's got a nice selection in there, and it's got the highlighters, the blush, and a um, bronzer in there too. So you do have those in there. Um, I just need to keep it out. Some of these I just need to put in front of me and say, just start using it because I tend to uh, put them away and move on to the next thing without really giving these a fair shot. So that one I want to play around with a little bit more before I really give you my thoughts. The next one was another holiday one, and I can't remember the name of the kit that this came in, but you got all three of these different palettes. So we have the first one, which is the Eggnog Latte. Um, this one has these colors in there. So you get a blush, and then you get six of the shadows in there. This one is the Peppermint Mocha. It smells lightly like cocoa. And then the Gingerbread Cookie. Again, a little bit of co uh, cocoa smell to it too. Make sure I'm not getting that stuff on my nose. And so this is gingerbread cookie. Again, these were okay. If you look at like the winter dream in here, can you see that? Sorry, not the little finger, but that one on my middle finger. It's really chunky with the glitter in there. Um, actually, Four of the five have the chunky glitter. Even the black has the glitter. Cup of Joe has a glitter. So you kind of got to watch out. I'm not a fan of having the chunks of glitter and stuff in there. So once again, these are some that I just got. And I got so many at the holidays. I just didn't get a chance to really get around to trying them all. I know I did some videos on them. Um, I just have to play around with them a little more. So, we have gone through Too Faced and Morphe today, and I still have all that to go through. I don't know if you can see them all, but I have several more, so I will be doing one more video and getting those all wrapped up, but that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when I get the other video done and posted for you. And until next time, 